It is Wednesday, October 9 of 2024, and we are gathered here today at the Endo meeting to talk about Hermes. Sure. So, um, yeah, I'll begin. So I wrote some, I'll share screen as well so I can demo what I'm showing. Um, so, yeah, I had some questions regarding uh, a couple of solutions to get Hermes working. And to summarize, um, with things that we're tolerating, like skipping async generators, skipping for now a direct eval, and um, a few things I've got questions on, we get uh, Hermes with CES locking down successfully. So yeah, a few to do's to do. So the first question is regarding complete prototypes. And, and these two are stacked off the Hermes CIPR, which I think hopefully if we're happy to merge, then um, yeah, we've all got reproductions to um, see these problems and debug. So complete prototypes on Hermes, I'll open up the pull request to show the proposed change. Uh, here it is, complete prototypes. So the reason why we have um, it's a small change to the intrinsics, and um, it's regarding lockdown, harden, and initial get stack string when we're completing the prototypes. So the first thing we run into with the Hermes VM and also React Native is lockdown.prototype is not whitelisted. So we can see this is happening if we look at the descriptor on Hermes, and it's non-standard in some ways with um, for example, um, if we just look through here, length is standard, that's what we expect. Name is standard, that's what we expect. And then we've got some things like caller, which is non-standard, and arguments. And what's causing the problem is the non-standard prototype here. So we can see that the prototype shouldn't exist because if we look at the permit, we can see that, um, yep, lockdown is a function instance and that should not have a prototype. So, once we uh, tolerate this, we can see that this also happens with um, a couple of other function instances. A, a literal dot prototype property, not a prototype, right? Oh, sorry. Yes, yes. a dot prototype property that should yep. only exist on constructors exists if every function created uh, in the Hermes engine. Oh. And yeah. Right, right. So Regardless we... of whether it's an arrow function or a function with keyword function. Yes. And that was reported to them <clears throat> before, uh, and the bug report is closed because they fixed it in Hermes static, which might be released sometime next year. Yep, so this was the report, Matt Hoffman um, raised it. And so this was to do with shorthand methods, um, having a non-standard prototype, but yeah, what we're talking about is similar, prototypes that shouldn't be there. So yeah, we had a conversation with Hermes, like ZP said, and that was fixed in static Hermes, which is, a bit far away, so we obviously want to make CES backwards compatible um, and currently compatible, not just with something in the future. Okay. Yeah. So, so the reason why we're bringing this up is that there's multiple ways to go about it. The prototype itself, uh, the, the prototype field cannot be removed because it's being added by the engine and it's uh, writable but not configurable. So the best we can do to blatantly remove it is to assign undefined to it, uh, which might not be enough in many cases. <clears throat> so we have a choice of either uh, adding the prototype field to the function uh, in permits uh, for Hermes and only in Hermes, or uh, make a carve out uh, in, uh, in the code that checks uh, for the functions and, and finds that they have a prototype where they shouldn't. Uh, and the latter is uh, implemented in the pull request, but uh, we wanted to bring it up for some conversation. So yeah, and what initially mentioned, uh, ZB mentioned initially is um, if we add it to the permit, it looks something like this. So here's the normal permit. And then possibly for Hermes, we can go ahead and um, assign this to tolerate, but um, hopefully we find a better condition than this. 
And then, um, yeah, this is the solution in the pull request. Um, it's a bit more messy in the reproduction, but um, I'll just open this up bigger. And um, this is the current proposition. Okay. Um, I can see a raised hand. Let's hear from Sally. Yeah, you have a question, and I don't know if it's a reasonable question, but I'll ask it anyway. Uh, what happens yeah. if you try to um, remove the property from, like, yeah, like if you, in Hermes, try to actually uh, delete the property or um, it or something? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good intuition. And the very first thing I tried, uh, delete uh, will not remove the property uh, because it's uh, it's not configurable. So removing it uh, is not possible. <clears throat> um, in any way, you can reassign a new value to it. So the closest we can get to removing it is reassigning undefined. Uh, but if we... Uh, iterate on own properties, it's still going to be listed. So, uh, okay, the, the, sorry, the tangent from there. Um, what happens if you wrap functions that shouldn't have the prototype property in a proxy and make them appear that they don't have a prototype property? Just, just you know, um, an idea, but but I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard to, um, to get this to work everywhere where there's a reference to the function. But, anyways, hurry yeah. Um, we probably don't need to fix all of the uh, functions everywhere. So for lockdown and harden, we might be able to do that. Uh. The initial get stack string is also under our control. It's a function defined in the CES code base. So yeah, that could be possible to do for CES specifically, but at least for now, the only problem with the prototype field being there that we found is in the uh, function that verifies permits. So, uh, skipping permit verification either on specific uh, predefined things for Hermes or uh, on everything that's a function we could we could check whether uh, whether it's a function the thing that has a prototype and ignore that <clears throat> uh, I think these approaches could work so it's um although yeah. So although Mark is in Tokyo and unable to attend today, I will want to run any of these proposed solutions by him. I can only make suggestions today. Mm -hmm. um, I th so to frame my uh, to frame my feedback, we want to have the minimal, we want to find the minimal insertion that uh, creates the least exposure to potential vulnerability in general. Um, so an idea might be uh, the, the permitting mechanism, which is not, which needs to be so we've begun the process of renaming it permits everywhere and not gotten all the way there, but let's just permits by whatever name it's called in the code at the moment, the, um, the permitting mechanism does not require every permitted property to exist, but it constrains the values of the ones that do exist and attempts to delete anything that it doesn't recognize. So it may be sufficient, albeit not minimal, to add a permit for the prototype property of all functions with a comment that this is a accommodation specifically for Hermes, 
provided that the value is exactly undefined if it exists. Okay, so we would still need to put an undefined as a value in there, mm -hmm. but we would avoid further difficulties. Okay, because we did add the prototype field to the functions permit and uh, declare it that it's going to be the function prototype and the line uh, 229 uh, that we see on the right uh, was detecting uh, conflicting bindings because of that. I, I cannot see line 229 on the right. Uh, it's no longer displayed, but Leo, oh, if you could go back to what you were showing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, got a reproduction there as well. Uh, yeah, here. Um, line 229 is checking if the intrinsics of permit prototype is different than intrinsic prototype. Or, and then so throwing. You have the wrong screen. One, one sec, uh, 229, um, which is... No, 129. Oh, Did I say 229? I thought I said 129. Cool, yep. Okay, and what, what's in context here? I presume that this is the lockdown function. No, no, yeah. So I wanted to know, like, uh, so what we is have intrinsic here? Is, uh, that, is that function? We have a, we have the three functions, lockdown, harden, and uh, initial get stacked strings. Mm -hmm. uh, and because of Hermes, they have a prototype field on them as their own property. Uh, and if we go to permits and allow uh, every function, please don't switch, uh, to have a prototype field, we will get past the initial test that was complaining the prototype was unexpected. Mm -hmm. And then it moves on to the tests uh, in the lines 128 to 130 and throws because uh the the permit prototype is different than the intrinsic prototype right so if one were to in a hermes specific taming step assign undefined to all of the shared intrinsic functions that have and uh, are that have this prototype and change it to undefined would that get us past the permitting mechanism i hope so yeah, I would hope so. I don't I don't fully follow the reason behind this comparison on line 129 yet. So I can say for sure. Uh the reasoning on line 129 is that the identity of the hmm, let's see. Intrinsic Oh, I see. So we may have actually gotten farther than I think we did. Okay, so in in the relevant Oh, no, 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 no. In the relevant execution, we're dealing with the uh the intrinsic binding points at let's say the lockdown function. Mhm. Mm so intrinsics in this case, well, what is permit prototype here? Oh, um, so I renamed, it used to be called name prototype, but I renamed it just so it makes more sense to me, but I can rename that. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. So this is, this is, I found the, the permit for yeah. function instances. This is the name, uh, it, it's called name prototype because... Yeah, because the value is the name of the intrinsic in the intrinsics table, right? Yep. Um, wait, permit dot prototype would contain the name. Oh, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. If we're reading the permit, 
yeah, this is the prototype, but not the prototype field, but the actual prototype of the thing being looked at. Are you sure? Um, I'm not. <laughs> looking so, at permits. For each intrinsic, if it has a dot prototype property, so this is a special... Oh, this is this is not in the perm. This isn't the left side. Isn't the permitting mechanism? It's it's the gathering intrinsics. Conflicting. So okay, when when intrinsic when this runs where intrinsic is like set, for instance, it looks like the desired effects of this function are to add set dot prototype as a recognized intrinsic. And if that is the case, it is strange to see this validation inside of it. Because if you look a little bit down from line 129, it just, it just moves on. So if the object has, if intrinsics has a permit prototype, if intrinsics has a property that is the name of the value of permit prototype, then there's a little bit of validation followed by advancing the loop. Otherwise, it's going to set in intrinsics a property whose name is the value of permit prototype. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's it right there. We did like, it's, it's refusing to overwrite the value in intrinsics. Oh, so if a value exists and is different, we throw an error because of double binding. Why is that happening then? So that means I that two you're... different runs got the same value for permit prototype. Um... Permit, permit prototype is the I value think... of the property named prototype on permit. And permit is a lookup from name, and I'm not sure what name is. The actual prototypes are on the uh, double square bracket proto field for each item in permits and the field named prototype. Is something different. So why is it treated that way? It might be interesting just to add some logging here. Um, every time intrinsics is extended uh, at line 135, and then also right before throwing the type error, just to get a visual picture of what's going on. But it's definitely like that, that type error um, on line 130 sure strikes me as necessary. The problem is it should have never been encountered for one of these cases in the first place. Okay, so it's possible that we've edited the permits incorrectly. 
cause this to happen. It's also possible that there is an actual problem because as far as I remember, the value of the prototype that gets uh, assigned to every function is not exactly correct. Meaning what? Like that Hermes has, well, so not exactly correct specifically in Hermes or in general? So specifically in Hermes, the uh, the way it adds the dummy prototype field to everything uh, that's a function, uh, the value of that is a different reference than the proto of that object. There's, um, there's a prototype object in the in the prototype field mm. that has its own prototype field, which then contains a reference to the native uh, function prototype. If I recall correctly, that so it is possible that they don't match in because of how the engine creates them as well. We're so going to have to look into like that. What would be some example source code to experience this? Um, create a function in any way whatsoever in Hermes, and it will have a prototype field uh, in its own properties, even though it shouldn't. Uh, and that, that, no, it, it should. That's... Uh, not, not for concise methods or arrow functions. Okay, so so not in not create a function in any way, but create a function that is not supposed to have a uh, yeah uh, yeah its own oh, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, and and if my if my understanding is correct, that that should be an object rooted in the ob that should be a fresh object rooted in the object prototype. Prototypically, it shouldn't be rooted in the function prototype. The function prototype should be the dunder proto of the function instance. The dunder proto of the prototype property should be object prototype. I don't think that's the case. I think it's a function prototype in there. And then that is that's definitely wrong. So uh, hang on, I'm still you're checking, still yeah. experimenting um, mm -hmm. to make sure that I've got a, a handle on this. Okay, so let's say just a a normal function um, created with the function keyword. We expect that there is a prototype property, an own prototype property on it, and we also expect that um, it is type of object. And we mm -hmm. also expect that its prototype is um, object.prototype, right? All of those things correct. I think so. It's just an it's an ordinary object that exists on oops. Um, it's an ordinary object that exists as a as the value of an own prototype property of the function object. This is for for non concise, just a okay. a vanilla function. Yeah. Um, uh, can I take over the screen for a second? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um... Here, this, it's visible. So in Hermes, uh, we can create 
an arrow function. And then this is an object. And this is what it looks like. So is this is this expected for no uh for a normal function? I mean it's it's unexpected that this uh prototype field is here for an arrow function, but uh, oh right, right. So if is you... the shape of the object expected? Yes. Okay. Uh, which is a segue to another question. Do we need to separately tame it? If Hermes is adding a constructor here. What form would that taming take? So the function prototype uh, is being tamed as part of lockdown so that you cannot use a function constructor as an evaluator uh, on a string. So what if we reach the constructor? Well, in this case, the the prototype object that isn't supposed to exist has a constructor field that points at the function of which it is the prototype. So this is going to return undefined. Yeah. It's it doesn't allow you any privileged access to any part of the object graph. It's just not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. If if you replace um if you replace a with function open paren close paren then this behavior is actually expected and correct okay um all right okay. so we mostly need to uh solve for this being the, the prototype field being there while it's not supposed to and there is nothing else to worry about and uh, we need to do it in a way that would only affect Hermes and not be too intrusive so we can remove it later. So I think uh, I think permitting I, I I now understand, I think, why the why that process failed because you wanted to allow it by permit, but every one of those prototype objects is, unique and dedicated to the function that, for which it was created. So the constructor property of um, the prototype that's not supposed to exist for lockdown points at the lockdown function, whereas the prototype, whereas the constructor property of the prototype created for some other function points at that other function. And that's the conflict um, that you're getting. So I think permits does not seem like the way to fix this. Okay. Is it uh is it writable? Is an interesting question. Yeah, it is writable and uh it is not configurable. Okay. But it is writable, okay. so you can override it with something else. Right. Presumably we would uh well, so yeah, all the functions that we create are not used as constructors and therefore setting the value of that property to undefined would be totally acceptable. Mm -hmm. But for instance, that would not be acceptable if you ended up looking at an actual constructor uh, built in. Yeah. So, like but uh, in permits, uh, we have a function instance uh, that has a big comment that says do not specify prototype here since only function instances that can be used as constructor have a prototype property. And where is this at? Uh, can we, can we uh, permits JS line 262. 
Oh, I've changed it. Maybe you want to share screen. See. No, it's okay. We're looking at it. Oh, Uh, okay. not anymore. Yeah, we were looking at it. Uh, in here it's line two hundred seventy three. So that's that's function instance being aliased to Fn and used a lot across permits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we could say if Hermes add prototype equal equal uh, prototype to undefined here, and then just arrange for Hermes to. We wouldn't want to add it in general, for sure. Mm -hmm. Because that would make it that would make it, uh, us uh, it, that would make us insensitive to, to to errors in the shim. Yeah. Um. But uh, it it would be okay to add a prototype property and require that the value be undefined, but only on Hermes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, obviously this check would not be yeah. We need a better check than this. Um. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. So where so is the that? I'm I'm trying to look downstream for where it's used. Uh, the function instance is on. Uh, you see on it's aliased on line two ninety five to fn because we use it absolutely everywhere, and then you see on line thirty three ten and three eleven that's the first occurring. Oh, or two ninety nine getters and setters have the appearance of concise methods or arrow functions. Right, so we're so function instance is actually um, yeah non here. yeah. I'm trying to see. Okay, so like there we go. All, all right, if you you know scrolling down a little bit, if you look in common math, it is it is used of the permits for things like uh, floor and seal and max and min and round and etc. 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 Do those have prototype properties in Hermes, I wonder? ZB, you want to take the screen? Um, yeah. Wrangle some REPL? Oh, ZB's running the new REPL that got released last month, so we've got to update. Otherwise, it was two years old. Oh, okay. So this does not reflect the old... They do not. I see that they do not. So if you were to do like reflect dot own keys of math dot floor. Yeah. And you're saying this is consistent with what you see from the current, the most currently, uh, the, the current normal Hermes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it is. So we so to make this an even more focused change, we could propose a maybe Hermes function prototype, or maybe maybe Fermi's function instance that may have uh, in, on which we would expect the uh, to arrange for undefined. Mostly, I'm trying to. I'm trying to find how fn got used for a non-built-in function. Like, where was that? How's how's lockdown specified in the permits? You mean? I suppose so. Is uh, aha, there it is, right there. Okay, so lockdown is, um, is permitted as fn, and harden is permitted as fn plus is allowed to have an is fake property. Mm -hmm. So way down at the bottom of permits.js is where we permit lockdown and harden. Yep. And I and think like that that's probably the area to focus, that in Hermes, they should be allowed to have prototype properties with value undefined, but nowhere else. And, and I wouldn't even touch the general definition of function instance. That looks good to me. It's user created functions that are having a prototype which they shouldn't that's true 
And we would then also have to identify the locations where uh, lockdown harden and initial guest tax string are defined and attempt to assign undefined to prototype on them if the prototype exists, which uh, doesn't need to be conditioned on Hermes specifically, uh, but Agreed. yeah, would definitely need a comment explaining why. In fact, I think we already have a good place to stand. Uh, Chris, do you remember the name of of the function that we use for like hiding source? Oh, it's the native stamping thingamajig. The um, tame native function to string, something like something like that. Yeah, so like that's that's part of a thing where we we make uh, uh, the functions that we create have the same shape as built-in functions, and in Hermes, part of that process should be doing mm -hmm. as much as we can to clean up the mm -hmm. prototype of a concise function. Which I think all of those, none of those should have prototype. So that's the part that I think I would say like if there is a prototype property with a non-undefined value, then either you know try to get rid of it or at least set it to undefined can you grep for uh mark native oh, one one moment let me I'll, I'll get it i can mark virtualized native function uh-huh And that's in tame function to string. Yeah. Yeah. So the, this routine currently only has the responsibility of adding functions that we define to a um, to a side table so mm -hmm. that its two string behavior is to say, <laughs> you can't see my source. <laughs> as opposed to other functions which would betray their source. Mm. Okay, so that's not... It's not exactly the same. It's probably think, no, used on more it's functions, but it might be function. good enough. If, if you look at tame function two string, it, it returns a function that just does the weak set add. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's fine. This can be an adjacent thing rather than rather than bundled in. Or we could generalize this. I'm actually, I think I'm okay with either. Um, yeah. With the current name, it's specific to two string, but what we really want is My, a, yeah, a function yeah. that accepts a function and does its absolute best to put it in the shape of a built-in function. Is just tame, <laughs> tame. Whatever, what what uh what? Uh, Matthew what? had a name in his PR for that generalized functions that aren't supposed to have a prototype and constructor relationship. In his uh in the pull in the in the issue that he filed to Hermes, he used mm -hmm. a term in the subject. Do you have that open in a tab anywhere? It yeah. wasn't concise and it wasn't arrow. It was started. <laughs> really? Started okay, with let that. me see. I'm uh Hermes issues opened by Matthew. I've linked it in the chat. Can you say the word? Shorthand. <laughs> okay. Shorthand methods. Yeah. 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 Hmm. I don't well, yeah. Sounds like we've got this is more than that. Yeah, Hermes is affecting more than just the shorthand methods. Right, so sh shorthand methods are those that appear in object literals and class bodies. 
what we're seeing here is that the problem with them is also a problem with, uh, with concise error. functions and with Wait, functions in all bodies are concise methods, right? Say again? Functions that appear in object literals are concise methods, right? I think so. Um, I, I, concise is generally used to describe functions that are defined with the arrow. Oh. Mark. Uh, huh. Okay. Uh, might not be on the same Or page. without the keyword function like in here let me see i'm i'm going to check the the spec grammar yeah so that object oh, literal line 29 is what i believe is called a concise method i mean certainly it is possible to have usage deviate across different environments um uh, let's see so property definition it's just called a method uh in the in the spec grammar mm. method definition is either getter set followed by a name and parentheses or a name followed by parentheses you know generalized across uh, async and generator as well in that case method is applying to more classes than we're talking about well, this is a, a method definition, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. So method definitions, including other, including methods within property descriptors. Um, actually, I think method. I think method definition applies only inside of uh, class bodies and object literals. Outside of that, something might be a method, but it would not have been created by a method definition. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of implicitly a method. Does two six two? It's a property have, whose value is a function. Does two six two have a definition for concise method? Oh, let me look in the glossary. Yeah, I'll put in the chat. Um, so there's this method definition production, which is the one that we're talking about. Uh, I should make sure that it's also the same one used in class bodies. I think it is. Okay. Concise appears nowhere in how we work terminology for TC39. Yeah, so method, defi method definitions appear in class bodies and in object literals. And uh, concise is specifically associated with the arrow punctuator. Okay. So concise, I guess, in the sense of it parentheses are not required and braces are not required okay so we'll have to sync with mark because i'm sure that we've been using different inside baseball terms um it's fine right i mean it's, it's, <laughs> it's definitely worth being consistent but there are a lot of phrases in the spec that don't really see use outside of it. Yeah. Okay. In any case, we do not appear to have a word that covers the category of Hermes functions that exhibit this strange behavior. So okay. the, the but... differentiator, you, you could you could be very literal about it. Um, a function that can be used as a constructor must have a property named prototype, a function that is not a constructor or that cannot be used as a constructor should not. That's mm. that's really the, the partition that is mm. supposed to be reflected in these properties. Like if you use yeah. a function keyword, that is, you know, that can be invoked with new. Yeah, newables. Newables, yeah, there you go. Newables. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a word. Yeah. So method um, methods and concise functions and generators and async like none of those are newable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How do we use this new newfound insight? Um. Oh, we can use that insight to say that we don't need to cover all of them. 
because we only need to cover the ones that go through uh, the permit checking mechanism there. Uh, and I made a note here because it seems the place where we're expected to try to set the prototype to undefined and see if that is going to be enough. I mean, set the prototype field to undefined if it's already there and not create a new one. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and I think also that will involve renaming this file and the, the exported function just to be clear about what it's doing. It's not taming function to string. It, I mean, really, it is. Yeah, we're. Like, yeah. Tame, virtualized, non newable function. I might even keep tame out of it. Yeah. So. Well. Marking is one thing, and it's currently only marking. But if we if we're deleting, if we are assigning undefined to extent own undefined own prototype properties, then it's taming. Okay. So. Or repair. I think we use tame and repair pretty interchangeably. Repair seems better to me here. So rather than returning mark virtualize native function, I think it would be. Uh, well, I mean, tame and repair are both a little bit wrong. Repair non newable function, non newable native function. No, we we want to pretend that it's a native function. Mm -hmm. Yeah, virtual. I would keep, keep non newable out of the name. Um. We're we're letting function, I think, do some heavy lifting as a noun. That like a function as distinct from a constructor. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so this is intended to accept only non-newable functions and function as contrasted with constructor mm -hmm. seems okay. acceptable for that. Um I will note that tame function to string is in a position where it can receive lockdown options if that is useful hmm. um, I think I think we always want to do this like check for we want to always do it for Hermes and it doesn't hurt to always do it in everywhere. general yeah okay so so we uh we change mark to repair and it's it has two new behaviors. Yeah, I okay. I like I like this. We just simply rename mark to repair, and then all of the call sites have to change, um, and then have the additional behavior that we set on prototype to undefined in the in the if if we encounter a, an own prototype property, and then we go to the permits for non newable functions, which are currently just called fn in the permits and make an accommodation there that if it does have a prototype property, it must be literally undefined. That's uh, it's called, uh, it's considered. So we would do it in, in FN after all. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. You don't, you don't think function instance, we put in a prototype colon undefined. Yeah, I think we put it specifically for the one. Well, hmm. But then, how do we know which of the functions? Yeah, are yeah, being we do need. I guess we do need here. a new function instance because I'm just thinking, like, what if, uh, you know, a, a shim could introduce to yeah. the globe to the global environment um, virtualized native functions, and in Hermes they're going to have a prototype, so we need to. Yeah, it, it does have to be. We yeah. want to give. Yeah, all, all such functions that treatment, yeah. Right. It's not specific to harden and lockdown. It's... All right. So we don't need we don't need a Hermes specific flag. 
we're just going to say, if there's a prototype, it must be undefined and leave a comment here. Um, or expand upon the comment below. <laughs> Elaborate upon the comment below saying that there, there shouldn't, that objects shouldn't have a prototype field. But on Hermes, they do, and we have taken steps to change it to undefined since we can't simply delete them. And then the cess brain grows another wrinkle. <laughs> okay. And I remember we had another interesting finding. Um... And so you have alignment from me and Richard. <laughs> Is Mark going to uh, disagree that you renamed Mark to repair in the native virtualized function? Mark, Mark likes everything to be named Mark. If he, if everything could be named Mark, it would be. He will probably be deeply offended. Mm -hmm. That's untrue. <laughs> okay, uh, Leo, do you remember? Because we, we can use don't no. have a lot of time left. Uh, do you remember where was the? Uh, V8 check that also passes on Hermes. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, somewhere an error uh, here. This says V8, it must be it. There was a check that either sets it to V8 or something else. Uh, just trying to find it. I remember V8 being in quotes, single quotes. That might help us in. Here, okay. Okay, so platform is a variable. And it's feature detected. And it's feature detected uh, in a somewhat permissive way because the feature detection checks if capture stack trace is a method of feral error. And, and Hermes, Hermes happens to be inspired by uh, the shape of the error prototype uh, available in V8. So they also have it. Does it work like that? Uh, we're yet to find out. Uh, but we stumbled upon it while looking for where um, where the last method in permits came from. But yeah, this is this is unrelated. Uh, it it might be working. We're gonna have to check. But this is no longer unique to V eight. Uh huh. Yeah, it would make sense to say V8 dash Hermes then. V8 or Hermes. Plausibly. I, or... I, I'm actually okay with saying that for yeah. purposes of tame error constructor, Hermes implements the V8 platform. I'm okay with that too. We don't have to generalize the name. Okay. Uh, well, as long as the behavior is consistent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they do provide it, we want to tame it. And if the behavior is inconsistent, we'll have to make more wrinkles. Yeah. OK, so that's, that's two things. Uh, do we have anything more? I don't remember more. Well, it's 12.01, and I believe that's everything that we agreed to talk about. I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you, everyone.